Hello, everyone. I'm Wang Yingheng from Department of Electronic Engineering, Tsinghua University. I'm glad to take this opportunity to talk about our recent work on multi-wheel graph contrastive representation learning for drug-drug interaction prediction. This work is jointly contributed by my colleague Ming Yaosun and supervisor Wu Ji from Tsinghua University, and my collaborator Chen Xin from Tencent. My presentation will be divided into four parts. I will briefly introduce the background and then proceed to methods and experiments and finally conclude the paper. Drug combination is a common medical practice. An average of five drugs is used by hospitalized patients. In the elderly, the number will increase to even more than eight. Meanwhile, around 68% of the elderly have at least two kinds of chronic diseases. So it's clear that drug combinations are inevitable. However, drugs may interact with each other when drug combinations occur. These interactions will alter their effects and generate unexpected side effects, which may cause undesirable results. For example, lipophilic statins will impair platelet inhibition affected by clopidogrel. This phenomenon will make the patient's illness aggravating. Also, drug-drug interactions may threaten patients' lives or result in financial loss. Thus, it can be seen that predicting drug-drug interactions before clinical practice is necessary. Previous similarity-based methods have some limitations. In one hand, they mainly rely on the empirical assumption that chemically, biologically, or topologically similar drugs are more likely to interact with each other. But this assumption is not all that justified. And on the other hand, this method also needs many similarity-based features. However, some of the features are unavailable for most kinds of drugs. Therefore, a company with a flourish of neural networks, some research works focus on modeling drug-drug interactions with graph. MVGA DDI proposes to model DDI as an interaction network, which helps discover the complex interaction patterns hidden in the DDI network. A more recent work, GRL DDI proposes to model drugs as molecular graphs, which can encode rich natural structural information from drug molecular graphs. However, representing drugs or using information from a single wheel is not enough. Combining diverse information from both the molecular structure and interaction relationships may help the model achieve improvements. This is our main motivation. So let's proceed to the proposed method. At first, let's take a look at the model framework. Given the model wheel graph as input, our model firstly encodes drug molecular graphs to generate the interview drug embeddings. Then, the model integrates the interview drug embeddings with interaction information from the intraview DDI network by a GCN encoder. After balancing multi-view information in drug representations by a contrastive learning-based component, we finally make predictions. Let's talk about these interdependent modules step by step. We first model drug-drug interactions in a multi-wheel graph setting. We treat each drug as a molecular graph and interaction relationships as a DDI network. Then we adopt a fun-aware message passing neural network with attentive pooling to encode molecular graphs. It includes three consecutive phases. The first is aggregating message. Here, we define different learnable weight parameters for different types of chemical bonds. The second is updating message. Here we, we are inspired by the highway network to define three nonlinear transforms T, F, and C, which refer to the transform gate, fuse gate, and carry gate respectively. This equation expresses how much of the hidden state is produced by transforming the fusion of the candidate hidden state and carrying the previous hidden states. Finally, we apply attentive polling to obtain the interview drug embeddings. Now we have known both 
the adjacency matrix of DDI network and the interview drug embeddings. Therefore, we use a JSON encoder to integrate these two parts of information. However, after many layers of message parsing and cloud convolutions, the drug representations may be oversmoothed and information from different views may become blurred. Thus, it is necessary to balance multi-view information in drug embeddings and make them distinguishable. Here we propose a contrastive learning-based component to achieve our goals. In the sampling stage, we fix each drug as an anchor. Then, get a set of positives, which is made up of itself and its k-order neighboring nodes. And the set of negatives are sampled from nodes not in its k-hop neighbors. Usually, we set k as 1. Afterward, we employ a module information maximization objective that infers the interview representation of the anchor agree with the interview representations of the positives and can be distinguished from the interview representations of the negatives. Because contrastive learning methods concentrate primarily on the maximization of module information instead of its precise value, we apply a lower bound to the module information on the Jensen Shannon representation of the KL divergence to estimate the module information. Finally, in the prediction stage, we compute the interaction representations by taking the element wise product of drug embeddings. Then, we apply a two layer fully connected neural network to make the final prediction. It should be, it should be noted that we also design an auxiliary interaction predictor using the interview drug embeddings to enforce an agreement between two prediction results. So the objective function of our model is formulated as three parts, which are the supervised loss, the disagreement loss, and the contrastive loss. Well, let's quickly look at the experiments. We conduct in ex experiments on three real-world benchmark datasets with different scales. The compared baseline methods include traditional similarity-based methods and graph-based models. Note that the graph-based baselines not only include models on a single view, but also take multi-view methods into consideration. Thus, the experiments also validate the effectiveness of the bundle bear message passing networks with attentive pooling. It is obvious that our proposed method outperforms other compared baselines on all three evaluation metrics, which are AORC, AOPRC, and F1. We also conduct ablation studies and analysis on how the contrastive learning component influences the performance. It is shown that the model with a contrastive learning component outperforms the other one on these two data sets. Through visualization, we can notice that the contrastive learning component helps obtain better drug embeddings. We also compare our model with baselines on the joint DDI dataset with different training ratio. As shown in this figure, our method is more, more robust with less training samples. In the final objective function of our model, there are two major parameters, alpha and beta. We evaluate the impacts of them. Finally, we find the optimal values of them, which are 0 0.8 and 100, respectively. We also evaluate the dimension of drug embedding. Fixing alpha and beta with their optimal values, the dimension of drug embedding reaches its optimum at 256. Besides, we study the convergence situation of our model. From the figure, we can observe that the objective value decreases steadily after many iterations. Well, let's conclude the presentation. The drug molecular structural information and drug-drug interaction relationships are both important for DDI, pre DDI pre prediction task. And the graph neural networks provide suitable architectures to encode them.
based on GNNs, we develop we develop a novel multi-wheel graph contrastive reference and learning model for the DDI prediction task. Jointly considering these two parts of information, the proposed model presents a novel contrastive learning component for obtaining better drug representations. Finally, extensive experiments on real-world benchmark datasets demonstrate the effectiveness of our model. This work is jointly supported by National Key Research and Development Program of China and Beijing Municipal Natural Science Foundation. These are the bibliography references of this slide. I hope this work can spur sparks and further advances on graph-based DI prediction task. I believe this work only presents some preliminary results under the multi-wheel graph setting. We may consider introducing more heterogeneous information like drug tar target interactions and so on in future works. If you have further questions, feel free to reach me. Thank you very much.